Hey guys, I want to give you a quick run through of the new limited edition Silverback by Gorilla Boy. A uh, little information on him. He's a uh, <coughs> high-end bag manufacturer out of Wisconsin. Uh, he has a couple lines of bags. He has the Primate series, which is more your standard type bag. Has the Evolution series, which are a little bit more beefed up, more bells and whistles. Um, in each series, there's a small, medium, and large size bag. In the Evolution series, he also does have a backpack type bag that has a built-in seat, which is pretty cool. So you can go check him out. His website is gorilla-boy.com. Um, and this one right here is the uh, limited edition Silverback. So it's their medium sized bag in the Evolution series, but it's a limited edition. He's only making about 70 of these or so. It's a uh, standard uh, Silverback, but with some added features and um, some extra bells and whistles. Um, the medium sized bag, the main compartment holds between 14 and 16. I have 15 in there. Also has a putter pocket up front, which comfortably holds two. And there's a special pocket back here, which I also keep more putters in, which we'll talk about in a minute. But just kind of, show you what I carry in here. There's I have four different putters, five mids, six fairways, and four distance drivers. So I've got all that in the bag and all of it's comfortable and I'm not shoving and pulling stuff to get them in and out. But now onto the actual bag. Uh, just kind of a <coughs> quick tour up front. Like so you know you do have your putter pocket hold two in there. And then also right behind that is a separate pocket. Um, you can hold a shirt or you know just whatever you guys carry out there. Uh, what he's also added is a second compartment back here. There's a little divider, um, which is really good just to hold a single putter or you know just keep things separated in your bag. And up front there's Velcro right through here, which connects a rain flap to keep everything dry. Uh, so that fully covers all your putters and everything. Um, right here is your mini pocket. All right here, sorry. There's your mini pocket and it has gotten bigger so you can hold bigger minis in there. Some of the older ones you can only do your standard size like driver minis and whatnot. And then right here you have uh, Velcro straps for either an umbrella or a seat and whatnot so they're fully adjustable, which is nice. Um, then right up front you have six pencil or pen holders, sharpie holders, right up there. Um, they used to have, on some of his older bags, had a clear ID pocket right there, but um, that's been replaced with these. And then onto the side, um, what you have is standard size pocket right here. Um, it's a good size. Um, it's not big enough to hold a jacket or anything. There's this front pocket, uh, but I'm a big guy and I can fit a, a double X dry fit shirt in there. Um, or on my other side, I carry a hat, a couple towels, and a golden retriever. So they're big enough to hold some stuff, but not anything like a jacket, like I said, or a hoodie. Um, but in this pocket, it's a pretty good sized pocket, like you can see. So I'm pretty big, and here's my fist. I can get that whole thing right down in there. Um, <clears throat> in this side, what he also has, he has another separator pocket, a little stash pocket, um, which I really like, and also a keychain clasp right there, uh, which I never ever considered having on a bag or you know made any deal about, but once I actually had it and used it for a little bit, I really like it. Um, and there's also a mesh pocket on the outside so you can hold all your extra stuff out there for easy access. Um, so I keep my sunflower seeds out there. And then <coughs> the insulated drink holder. Again, you can see my whole fist fits in there. Uh, 32 ounce negligine, no problem big Gatorades, the one liter bottles of water, all go in and out, no problem. And also it does have a grommet, you can't see on there, they have a grommet on there, so if it rains or spills or anything, uh, it's not gonna pool up. The, um, right here, the uh, quad hookup, or your strap hook, uh, he's added a big beefy D-ring, which is uh, really nice, this thing's not going anywhere. I like these a lot more, this is one of the added, added features for the uh, limited bag. Then around, on the back, uh, it has a fully padded back, just like all his Evolution series. Uh, right here is a little compartment. You can keep scorecards or whatnot. It's not big enough to keep a disc or anything, but I always just keep my rain flap tucked back right into there. Um, right here are the quad hookups. This is something else on the limited bag. Um, instead of just having a little nylon loop right there, he's added little wings or tabs 
to extend it out. Um, and it's really nice me having a bigger frame to pull them out just a little bit makes quads a lot more comfortable. And also instead of just the uh, nylon loop hookup, there's um, you can get it, little D rings on there that are just like the uh, the strap hookups, um, except just a smaller version. Um, I like those a lot. Uh, if you do choose to use the single strap that does come included with it that matches the bag, um, instead of having these just flopping around, there are little holes right there so you can tuck them in and uh, keep them safe. So that's another great idea that I like on this bag. And then on this side, it's same exact as the opposite side, except on um, the pocket in here, it doesn't have the key holder. So, but everything still has the special stash pocket right through there and the mesh right through here. And then on to the main compartment of the bag. Um, one thing he did is he added a divider. Instead of having just uh, the corrugated plastic, he has, he actually has a fabric a divider that attaches with Velcro straight along the bottom and then on the sides. Um, I really like this. I've never been a divider person in my life. I uh, put it in there just to try it out and um, yeah I, I really like this one, one thing because it's flexible so when you put it in there you're not gonna have your disc like smashed up against it real hard um, and also you know if you're full it moves just a little bit um, so yeah, I like the this a whole lot. Also matches the bag, so it looks good too. But um, the function of it is really really nice. It's the first divider that I've actually enjoyed. Use it for about three or four rounds. So we'll see if it keeps going after that. Um, and then on the inside, I said it holds 14 to 16 discs. I have uh, 15 in mind, just depending on how many drivers and mids you hold or you carry with you. Um, one of the big changes in here is the frame. Um, it still has tucked in the sides the corrugated plastic, but the frame, what's different is now, instead of having attached half inch PVC tubes, he has free floating one and a half inch PVC tubes. And I was kind of skeptical about this at first, but once I started using it and thinking about it, it's uh, actually a really good idea. Um, it's like a nut or a floating bridge on a guitar. It's all held in by tension. So with the pressure from the sides, and then the actual discs on top of it, they aren't going anywhere. Um, and what that also does is it cuts down on having the connectors on the ends. So when you do have a full bag, you won't have the one extra disc that's sticking up way high and all the other discs are in there straight. Um, and also on the main compartment, one of the differences on the limited bag is it's about like one to two inches higher than standard bag which for me, like just personal preference, I really like. Because on the old bags, all the tops would stick out just a little bit. And for whatever reason, I'm just not a fan of that, but uh, these limited bags, I really like because they're, as you can see, they're in there all the way with the, uh, you know, it's not sticking out. The bag's actually up higher than the, um, than the disc. So that's one of those personal things, but I really, really like that part of it. Um, so overall, it's a good quality bag. Um, oh, one of the other extra features on the limited bag as well is on the bottom, he has a ballistic nylon, which he's already had, but it's double layered now. And also, instead of just being on the uh, main compartment of the bag, it's also on the, uh, the pockets and the drink holders. So there's some extra added durability put in there as well. Um, so far, it's a really light bag, um, even for being bigger than the normal silverbacks. Um, it's lighter than a Carolina, and that's in the um, the Phoenix Core bag. Those are the two kind of comparable bags out on the market to this one. Um, and this one, like I said, this special limited edition. Um, only about 70 of these he's going to be making. Um, this one's a custom color, so you won't be seeing this one. But um, when he has, he has a pretty cool uh, graffiti type logos on there. Uh, has his logo and some different. Uh, designs on there and then gray accents. Um, you can just check that out at his website. I don't have any picture or anything of that with me or anything. So um, overall, like I said, it's a quality bag. They have a one year warranty and I, I really like it so far. Um, so yeah, so that's the uh, Gorilla Boy limited edition silver bag.